In today's video, you'll see how to remove and change the gasket in between the block and oil separator. If you want to see more videos like this, please subscribe to my channel, give me a like and share my videos with your friends. And then for the oil tank, you have to use a 12 millimeter socket and a 13 millimeter wrench. And for the dipstick, you need to use star shape to works number 15. So when you are done with uh, removing the obstacles, now it's time to take a zip tie and put it around that metal pipe, which is uh, for the air conditioning, I believe, and pull it towards the frame tight it so that pipe you know you pull it like three four millimeters that will give you enough room to deal with uh, the fourth bolt that's how I call it the fourth bolt it's right in the corner by the pipe and you don't have uh, just enough space for two three millimeters to take it out you're actually not taking it out you just unscrew it it's just worth mentioning that uh, two bolts on the top they are longer and the two on the bottom they are shorter so make sure you put them back uh, in the same spots uh, you have to use a 10 millimeter wrench and go slow especially with that top left bolt don't get too excited just go slow you'll get it done not a big deal So we have lost two millimeters of that bolt to unscrew. Unfortunately, I didn't have that uh, long zip tie, so I can do it with two hands. And now it's a little harder, but it's doable. And now is the perfect time to drop the oil pan underneath the truck so we'll be collecting any oil it may drip from the oil separator and when you try to remove it you have to pull it really really hard
and as you see we have short bolts on the bottom and long bolts on the top and pay attention to this rubber gasket it's not like rubber anymore it's like plastic it's literally so hard they, uh, you can tell it's like plastic that's why it was leaking so now we have to clean up put the new seal on and throw it back And just listen to the sounds of that gasket. Sounds like plastic. Now is the time to clean the block. A little blade will help a lot here. And remember, cleaning is always a very important step. Don't skip it, don't go too fast here. Make sure you clean really well. And use some brake cleaner with a straw because it's easy to you know hit the spots you see there. I try to go slow here so your gasket and your bolts will not fall. I wasn't trying to hold them with my fingers, but uh, if you go slow, everything should be alright. And when you have it in place, it's time to check if your gasket is in there. So give it a little room and stick your fingers in there, check it if it's in there. And when you start uh, putting your bolts back, start with the top right corner and go clockwise. And once again, I push that little pipe uh, towards the frame and screw in the fourth bolt. Uh, watch me how I do it. It was uh, really comfortable to do that If you found my video helpful, please subscribe and give it a like and share with your friends By the way, I have more videos on my channel So if you're interested just go through my channel and see other videos
so after I was done with everything I uh, checked on oil leaks it's easy to do with the phone you can stick it in there and see if it leaks or not um, my truck ran for half an hour and everything was fine no leaks on, on top or underneath